previously on Yaxa 3 Remastered. Don't pay any attention to the two men that were wearing the exact same outfit on those benches to the left of you. Oh God, this old man's coming right for me. Motherfucker, I swear to God, you touched me. No! Ah! Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm going to kill that old man real quick. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, snap his neck. It's fine. Gary never killed anybody. Have it off screen so it doesn't count. Give it. Damn it. And now back to you. Hey, Nico. Yeah? What's that? What's what? Tire drop. Oh! Hello. Sneako B. Back with some more. Yaxa 3 Remastered. Wow, wow. Did you guys see that guy to the right of me who just... Did you see that amazing NPC freaking fluidity man where he just went over and sat down on the bench all by himself? Damn. I am so impressed. Look at this. We have come a long way, guys. God damn. Feels like this world is really lived in. Just like how in real life, when I walk down the street, I also get swarmed by people who then vanish into air. It was like I didn't even realize last episode. Like, look at this shit. Look how ridiculous this is. Look how they're like, I'm talking to this ice cream guy and I'm so focused on the, the description box. I didn't notice all the people swarming in there and then walking into him and vanishing. That is the funniest fucking shit. Look at that. Look at him go. They're gone. They're going to the shadow realm. Just like real life, right? Just like all, all, just like in real life, there's all these old people. The, every single one of them is hunchback. Not a single one isn't hunchback. Look at him. And some of them are just like 40 year old people and they're already, no, they're already hunchback. Like really super hunchback. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, there's, there's so many of them. Oh my God. I will be curious if Kamarocho is going to be as bad as this area is. Like seriously, like I, the swarm here is kind of insane feels like npcs are just spawning every like two seconds but i'm getting distracted anyway when we last left off we did a whole boatload of stuff sub stories uh including uh carrying some ice cream which i gotta say i'm actually kind of enjoying the things that have cure you like like literally you see him holding some shit i don't know it's just something hilarious about that to me seeing him just like like big strong guy like all right I'm gonna get these i'm gonna get these ice cream cups to that loving family fuck i dropped it motherfucker punches some random passer ah! i gotta go buy some more now i will say it, it's clear all right that this game is a ton of sub stories but on the bright side or i would say the bright side at least uh it doesn't seem like it may take quite as long to get through all of them because really look at this we're already up to like 25 sub stories um and we're just kind of blazing through them a lot of them are really really short but i would say i would say honestly that they are short and sweet like they're not like again i just have to go back to kwami one because the kwami ones was easily some of the worst ones because they were all the same story of just like oh carrier gets you know conned into doing some shit or whatever and it was always just, ugh, it gets so boring but at least these are have a nice variety to them. Even if it, some of them end up being a bit darker than we expect. And uh, someone who really pointed that out well was uh, Silver Smile Girl, who last episode said, Game, this woman's daughter has gone missing and there are rumors. The Phantom Tour guy took her. Me. Ah, this situation will all be a funny misunderstanding. Typical Yakuza. Game, the Phantom Tour guy was kidnapping teenage girls to sell as probably sex workers. And there have probably been many girls who have met their fate before Kiryu was able to save them. Me. Holy shit. <laughs> I know what the fuck like all of them up to that point been like oh it's okay the thing that we thought was terrifying was actually not that bad this time the the thing that was actually the truth here was actually more terrifying than the than the rumors even led on to me holy fuck I, know, I was like damn I didn't know what really dark it's gonna get worse and worse as we go on through this we're gonna be like somebody's got missing I think he's gotten kidnapped by a ghost but it's okay he's, he's a friendly ghost okay cool I guess let's go find this ghost and talk him down turns out it's not it's a fucking serial killer he's killed thousands of people and he's coming for Kiryu next and he's like ha ah, it's all right Kiryu you couldn't stop me from murdering a billion people I'll see you in hell Kiryu blah, blah. and then he blows himself up and like what the fuck dude what the hell this game's messing me up dude I just want my I just want my summer vacation, Yaxa 3. Can I just hang out with my kids on my summer vacation? But Silver Smile Girl, thank you so much for your dark, dank comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. So by the way, uh, you guys did inform me of a few other things. One thing is that apparently the uh, tuna that that one guy wants me to, to fish for him to get as a replacement fish um, is actually the hardest fish to, fi to get in the game. <laughs> God damn it, really? And apparently like the... I don't know. I guess the odds of running into it are kind of low and it's hard to, it's actually hard to fish out. I haven't even tried the fishing in this yet. Apparently good bait to use to fish him out is the, uh, I, th I think you said you actually can use to go burgers, I guess from, um, uh, smile burger, I guess. So I guess we'll check that out. He said it, it might just be better just either pay it or apparently you do as a reward later on, get a tuna 
that you could also use to uh to give to him but it doesn't happen till way later in the game so yes uh so i can actually get okay let's so actually go in here and get a uh smile burger oh yeah i can actually get all the oh that's good i can buy multiple at least kick up my smile burger this is our finest take jesus christ how are you even supposed to eat this? I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these. Give me my smile burger! I got it! I kinda wanna try fishing, because I haven't really even attempted it yet. They did have fishing in Yakuza Zero. Um, I don't think Kwame 1 or 2 had fishing, though, so it's been a while. I imagine it's gonna be like that. All right, so I gotta find that Shisa statue, too. I did not find it fucking down here. I'm gonna have to go... Maybe it's somewhere else around the city. All right. Also, the magazines that I got from that one group uh, was actually, I honestly thought it was just some random shit or something you were just to sell that they could give to you. But it was, it was actually materials as well for uh, the items. And I didn't even come across it at one point. So, oops, my bad. Oh, right. And also, Kamaki was in Zero. I, I thought he wasn't, but he definitely was. I forgot. He, he was the one that trained, trained Majima, which means that more than likely, he's going to show up in this game too, right? I would not be surprised. I think he's probably going to show up in literally every single one of these games. Okay, before I go fucking around with the fish though um so i got the shisa thing uh looks like we probably have more of the mysteries of ryu ryukyu <laughs> how much worse are these gonna get because i see a new one down there in the bottom left oh by the way another thing you guys actually point out to me is that the encounters in this game are actually uh a bit different than uh the later games where in instead of uh like dudes actually walking around the city to find you um, they're actually just literally guys that stand in place and wait for you in this game. So, I actually, is this guy a bad guy? Huh? Yup. I, first thing I thought he was an NPC because it looked like he was getting ready to turn around and move, but they just stand in place and wait for you in the exact same spots every time. So you can at least, I, I it makes it, I guess, a little easier to avoid them, though it does seem like they kind of stand like right in the fucking middle of the path. So you kind of have to notice them and then really run around them if you want to avoid them but but okay well that at least makes it somewhat easier to avoid them if i need to because unfortunately right at least right now these guys are giving me jack shit for fucking experience i mean they're giving me a little bit of money at least and some items but die i like how it's like one guy gets really pissed at you and then his friend's also there take this let me out Yes, remorse filled 5,000 yen. Thank you. Uh, yep. More of the girls. What now? Uh, I've always wanted to try a glass of Goya juice from here. Guess it's not happening. Well, this shop's been closed like forever, hasn't it? Wonder why. It's in the perfect spot. Oh, my grandma told me about it before. He said their juice was so healthy that it could heal any sickness. Whoa. How could come it close then? Me, this myth mythical Goya juice was so incredibly harsh on the tongue that nobody could drink it. After all, it is Goya we're talking about. I don't think I've ever had Goya before. I'm not even sure. Is that a fruit or a vegetable or... Yeah, probably a fruit. Did you know that Goya's good stir-fried if you add a little mayonnaise? I guess not the better taste. Ew, sounds disgusting. But you know, so what if you eat Goya is because it's so bitter. That's why it's called bitter melon. Anyway, now with all this Goya good... Go gobbity good. This place is gone for good. Let's go grab some Goya burgers instead. I'm starting to feel like I'm stalking these girls. Mythical Goya juice, huh? What if it's any good? Ah! <laughs> then this random child shows up. Is anybody there? I want to get some go Goya juice. So this kid wants to try some of that myth mythical Goya juice himself. Let me turn my camera. All right. Hey. What's wrong, kid? I really, really, really need some Goya juice. It has to be from here. Any reason it has to be from this shop in particular? Um, well, my mom got really sick and ended up in the hospital, so I just wanted her to get better. I heard people say that if you drink the Goya juice from the shop, it'll cure any sickness you have. Eh, and the kids in my class say it's all alive, but even so, I still want to get some for my mom. All I care about is seeing her healthy again. I see. Yes, Goya juice. No, it's all right. Curious is going to come over there and punch the sickness until it's gone. So you're just doing what you can, huh? Offer him something else. Help find the shopkeeper. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's look around for the shopkeeper together. Okay, thank you. Oh, my God. Very deep bow. Excuse me. Anybody in there? Hello? My goodness, what in the fucking dicks do you want? We've been closed for years, you know. Did you used to run this place, ma'am? Sorry to bother you, but could you make this kid a glass of your special Goya juice? So that's what y'all came for. Hmm, I don't know. His mother's housewives with some kind of illness, and all she needs is a little bit of juice to help her get back to back to normal. Give her some of that juice. It's just chock full of steroids. Please, make some for my mom. I know I'll make her better. 
Well, if you put it that way, how can I say no? But you gotta bring me the right ingredients. Uh-oh. I need some Goya, some Cruzata, some, oh my God, some Bonsai, some Dungwai, and lemon. Some what? <laughs> I'm curious, like, the fuck, lady? You heart of hair and young man, need five ingredients. Goya, blah, 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 blah. I can use ingredients similar to those two if you manage to scrounge up something very, something better. Oh, okay. But that can get awful pricey. I think she was using Okinawan words. I used to hear my grandpa talking that every now and then. Goya means bitter melon, but I don't know any of those other things she said. Public market has a, has a shop that sells healthy stuff. I bet you can find everything there. Well, might as well head to the public market and see what I can find. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. The public market. Where be that? Oh, that's, um, oh, right. That's actually right where I was, over here. God damn it. I, I my, my inventory's full. Hopefully I can just send it straight to my, I swear to God, if I can't pick this shit up, I have to go through, I have to go to the inventory space to get it. I'm mega pissed. Uh, okay. Just gonna talk to the, I'm just gonna talk to the people I can actually talk to. We have some health, special healthy food items to stock for a limited time. Come take a look, sir. Fuck. God damn it. Fucking God. Knew that was gonna happen. Ah, it's just like previous games, honestly. It's like you you can sometimes send this time search your inventory in certain events, like with the coin lockers, but not every time. Ah, oh, so thank you for filling my pockets full of burgers. Oh, I was hungry, okay? And I gotta feed the fishes. Oh, god damn it. Fuck you, dude. I'm just trying to get to the fucking phone booth. Get away from me. Say hi to your friend. Oh, I never sold that parrot, uh, that giant parrot bluefish. Oh, yes, you may see. So I can sell for a good profit. How much? How much can I sell for? Ten thousand. That's it. You know what? I think I'm just gonna hold on to this in case I end up needing it for a fucking quest sometime down the line. Because ten thousand is not dick. Oh, did you guys get some new shit? Oh wait, no, no, it's the same stuff. Oh wait, 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 wait. This is new. A one of my favorites about a spy code named Dragon, uh, who uses funky tools to get out of spots. Volatile Dragon. That is definitely new. He's just funky items. Is that where I get maybe the dragon, the dragon iron? Remember that shit from, uh, I think I'm at Mikwami 1. It's like the most powerful golf club in all of the world. <laughs> Look at these people just standing. They're just standing here waiting for me to tell them where that Jesus statue is. We will stand here forever until you do. Here he is. I found it. It's exactly like the picture. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Okay. So bitter melons one. Oh, so I have to figure out what the other shit is. Oh my God. Okay, we got a lemon. The one is just a lemon. Uh, oh God. And the rest is just a bunch of hoodly doodlies. I guess I could get like one of everything. Island banana. Hold on. Do we write? Please tell me I actually kept it in my brain. Or in, at least it's written down in the sub story what it was exactly that I needed. So Goya is the, the bitter melon, lemon, and then Cruzata Basanai and Dogwai. What in the fuck, dude? I got curious you didn't even know this shit is. This is actually Japanese. Okay, fuck this. <laughs> Either I'm gonna go in there and have to spend up, buy up everything and waste my inventory space and guess. Unless there's somebody in here I could talk about, talk to and give me like ideas of where shit is. No, that's just the NPC. Oh, fuck. I, oh, I can fight dudes in here too. Okay, god dang it. If there isn't, I'm just gonna look it up. All right, I'm sorry. I don't feel like spending a bunch of my money, or more importantly, honestly, just using up my inventory space. I'm slice that man in half. You guys want some sushi? I got your sushi right here. Thanks. 10,000 bucks, just the same price as that fish. I don't see anybody else to talk to. Okay, fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna look it up then. Cause I'm just not, I, I don't feel like fucking crap shooting this shit. Okay, so apparently Kurizada is brown sugar. Uh, Dung Wa, Doug Y is al alloy, alloy, alloy or whatever. And then, uh, Boss and I is bananas, but not island bananas, which are supremely more expensive too. Just regular bananas. You actually would have thought it would have been the, uh, the island bananas. Although I think she said, if you get something that's even better, so pr you probably would still count it if you got island bananas, but it'd just be more expensive for no reason, right? Um, okay, cool. Maybe there's some way I could have logically pieced that together, but uh, Kiryu not that smart, all right? Kiryu didn't get regular schooling. The only schooling he's gotten is the art of beating. I uh, see what you bought me. 
<laughs> she just looks at looks at my dick, looks back up at me. Ah, go ahead. This one's a fresh and ripe. Bitter melon. Ooh, so go ahead. Really, that's being bitter melon. I was like, don't want it. Just the source of vitality, my juice. You could have just told, get, told me what it really is called, all right? The normal name for it. So don't want me to I never knew that. Neither did I. Who is on it? Some sweet and delicious, much better. Much better than white sugar when it comes to making juice. Brown sugar. So, oh, wow. So, Kuwa Zada means brown sugar. That's a toughie. <laughs> the kids over here just like <laughs> responding to everything. It's a fine lemon indeed. It'll need to soften the bitter melon flavor. At least lemon still means lemon. That's an easy one. I wonder if this actually is like truly like like Okinawan slang. I actually have a distinct feeling it is. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past this game to really they really went into this shit. Look at this. Nice looking like boss and I. Sweet and delicious, I'm sure. I do have to feel bad for the people who first played this game though. Back when they I mean, well, 2008. I now there, there would have been guides for this by 2008. But I'm just like imagine playing this like let's imagine this game came out in like the fucking early 2000s or late 90s where the internet was like not a thing. Good fucking luck, bitch, trying to figure this shit out. Let me go talk to my Okinawan friend who just casually lives across the street from me. He can tell me what the shit means. <laughs> Actually, in that, in that is, is you just go in there, buy everything until it worked, right? So, boss, I mean, bananas. I, I can kind of see that. Banana. So, you both agree. It's good. I can whip you up a nice batch of Goya juice. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Really? Thank you so much. And it ends up killing his mom. <laughs> Bad aunt. Should have just given her a stamina on after all. Hey, uh, I want fresh serving of Goya juice. Just made for you. Wow, so the mythical Goya juice. It was real after all. I'm going to try making this shit later and see if it doesn't kill me. Boss and I and Dugwire are very important ingredients too, you know. Don't forget that. I'm going to take this right in my mouth. Thank you so much, ma'am. And you too, mister. It was really kind of you. So that juice will help your the kid's mom get better. Well, aren't you the kindest fella? Honestly, it felt right. It felt... Right, making a proper batch of goya juice after all this time. Full circle, my juice packs some mythical medicinal punch that'll cure any sickness. But to tell the truth, there's nothing really mysterious about it no more. You see, back in my day, Boston Eye Lemons and Dugwa were so darn expensive, almost no one could afford them. Just so happened our goya juice was the healthiest, healthiest thing around. But these days, nearly anyone can get their hands on those ingredients. Well, that kid, I'm sure we'll, it's still the mythical remedy his mom needed. I think it could have been better. My mom's dead! Oh, uh, well, never mind. Even though you stopped making it years ago, a lot of people are still talking about it. That alone tells me some incredible stuff. They gave her left an old woman's spirits. Now I gave all the juice to that boy, but this will fix you right up a quick. Oh, thanks. It's stamina royale. Great. Yeah, I'll give you your mystical super juice that can make me into a god. Whatever. Thank you. Come on, and good luck to you. But more importantly, I got experience points. Okay, uh, do we get some? Yep. We're going through all these seven wonders, I bet. All right, girls, what's got y'all in a hizzy now? Don't run to any dudes. No, 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 not that. No. Don't fall for the fake season statues. Excuse me, sir. I'll take one coral love necklace, please. A coral love necklace, is it? That'll be 3,000 yen. Oh, my gosh. Who but... Who did you buy the necklace for? You're gonna ask somebody to go steady, aren't you? Oh man, it's going steady. Is it your modest senpai from the track club? <laughs> eh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's a tutor, isn't it? I saw the one, the way you've been stealing glasses at him. Mm -hmm. Really? Har Haruko, come on, fill us in on the deets. <laughs> yeah, they say whoever has a special love coral will never be turned down, so you're basically guaranteed a boyfriend. <laughs> Would you guys stop already? Let's just go eat some burgers and go home. These coral love necklaces do seem pretty popular these days. Where are we going with this one? How about a coral love necklace for you, sir? Made with genuine Okinawan coral. We got plenty in stock, but they won't last long. This must be the necklaces those high schoolers were talking about. <laughs> in fact, it's been a big, making big waves on the internet lately. It's even considered something of a spiritual success accessory. As you see, this necklace is made from genuine, hermotypic coral weather to a fine sheen. This process helps the coral release beneficial negative ions. All right, whatever. This is some infomercial flashy words bullshit right here. Just keep one of these special coral necklaces on your person instead of bolster your luck and love and money too. Uh, sure. Why not? Bring your best fortune. Is this thing really gonna make me lucky? I'll admit, I have my doubts. Uh, are we still going with this or is that, is that it? No, we are still going with this. Oh boy, this is probably gonna kill me now, right? Uh, can I, can I actually equip it? Oh, no, there it is. It's in my, it's in my key items. Oh boy. I'm gonna move around. Shit's gonna start happening, right? Oh, there's a little quiet thing. It springs to life and stabs me. Ah! Uh. Whoa! 
Did you guys see this? What in the fudge? You see this? There was like a 30 NPCs over here. I look away and they're immediately gone. Whoa. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Yeah, what, sorry. Did you just happen to spawn right in front of me? No, it was my fault. Are you, are you, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hope I didn't knock it into you too hard. Oh, not at all. Oh, your big burly muscles are actually a nice cushion. And by the way, I could help but notice the necklace you have there. It's lovely. This must mean the coral love necklace. Well, I guess I should be going. She actually noticed my necklace. Maybe what that says was so tell me was true. Oh my god, I'm missing all my money. Huh? <gasps> my wallet! What must have paid me in a pickpocket? She just left a 50,000 right out of my nose. Oh my god. So much for being lucky. I've been improving my luck just throwing this thing away. Uh oh. Maybe I should. Wait, what do I do now? I gotta get this thing out of here. Can I drop it? It's in my key items. No, I can just look at it. Ah! I get this thing out of here. Get back to the guy. Can I get back to the guy? Oh. Ah, oh, stupid necklace doesn't work at all. Ever since I put this thing on, my luck's only gotten worse. First I lost my wallet, then my tutor flat out rejects me. Where's the boss to go wrong? I'm gonna kill you. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't care about your apologies. I want my money back. So here, take this worthless piece of junk. Off my deepest sympathies, young lady, but unfortunately, we cannot accept used goods. It's dirty with your dirty human scent. I can tell you where the, the company that makes these necklaces is located. How about you take your complaint there instead? Aww. Jeez, I don't know how about how you people see business. Yeah, I want to take my back too. No! Stop looking at the damn. Ah! No, this man. Hey, you mind if I ask you something? Oh, no, don't tell me you want to return the coral necklace too. No, I just want. Yes, actually. No, I want to say that it looks like these things don't really work in the first place. You have to get, forgive me. It's just I've been made up, been up to the, my ears, and customers ask for their money back, and demanding I take responsibility. These exes have been nothing but trouble since the day I started carrying them. So much trouble, then why don't you stop telling people that they'll bring you love and money? I truly wish I could, but I'm afraid it's not that simple. What do you mean? These exes are the hottest thing going around right now. And since the manufacturer is having such a hard time keeping up with demand, I can barely even keep them in stock. After weeks of begging and pleading with them, they finally let me order another shipment, but only under certain conditions. Such as? Well, I'm obligated to tell the potential customers that these negatives will help attract love, luck, and a whole slew of other random nonsense to their lives. <sighs> if I don't say such things, I've been threatened with penalty fees and all sorts of other consequences. Or they just sell out already. I see. You're spending... What is it? Does this thing give me cancer or something? Now, if you have a complaint to file, would you mind taking it to the directly to the manufacturer instead? And where can I find this manufacturer? There's a, a building with a stairway just south of Rioto family office. The manufacturer's office is on the second floor of that building. Please go there if you're experiencing further issues or otherwise satisfied with your purchase. Just to make sure, it's the second floor we're building the Rio family office. All right, then. That's uh, kind of where Kamiyama's shop is, right? Oh, here we go. Daddy, the six doesn't work at all. Mm, I see. And if you haven't noticed any positive effects, then it could only mean one thing. You must have been possessed by an evil spirit. Huh? Wait, that can't be right. How's that even possible? What the hell is this guy wearing? Since you've already purchased one of our patent pending pearl love necklaces, I would be willing to cleanse that spirit for you. A special discount rate, of course. Well. Not a chance! I'm never using this stupid necklace again! Eh. And then she vanishes. Do you have a minute? Yes, how may I help you? I want to talk to you about this coral necklace. Oh, of course, sir. Please step right into our office. Get him, boys! <laughs> what in the hell is that? Wow. Damn. In this game in particular, you really see the difference in NPC quality here. Like, look at this shit. Look at her fucking hair. So, what is it you want to know about our core love necklaces? I was told this thing would bring me luck with, luck with love and money, but is there any truth to that? Of course there is. We've received countless thank you letters and emails from all over Japan. Somehow I don't buy that. Have your finances and romantic opportunities risen dramatically since your purchase? If not, then I might suggest holding out a little, lo a little while longer. You see, statistics compiled by our data analysis have shown that over 99% of our customers are completely satisfied with our product. If it's indeed a refund you want, we'll be more than happy to assist you. But before that, <sighs> I do feel obligated to tell you why you haven't noticed any of its trademark effects. Let's hear it. It's very possible that you have an evil spirit corrupting your natural energies. Huh? You mean I'm possessed by a demon lord? Dr. Sensei, would you kindly come here for a moment? Hi. Hello there, madam. Is this about my balls that are hanging dramatically from my neck here? Certainly, what seems to be the matter here? Our customer hasn't experienced any of the amazing benefits our product has to offer. Perhaps you could examine him. 
Ah, then I should begin the cleanse immediately. Oh, he's got an evil spirit, all right. Big one, too. I see it bears a, a deep hatred for the, of the love cause and question of spiritual properties. <laughs> If you like, Cashman Sensei could rip that evil spirit right out of you. We're offering the service a special price of 50,000 yen today. Get exercise, return the necklace, come back later. Fuck you. I'll just take the necklace back. I don't want to get. I'm not spending any more money on this bullshit. Forget it. I'm here to return the necklace for a refund. I'm afraid we can't do that in this case. We're happy to provide refunds for faulty merchandise, but the root of this problem is clearly evil spirit. Start being the run around and give me my money instead. Can you have your worthless trinket back? Why aren't you persistent? <gasps> Gentlemen, it seems we have a dissatisfied customer on our hands. I'd appreciate if you showed him to the door. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, hey, how's it going? You interfere with our business, tough guy. Well, I suggest you be more appreciative of all the hard work that went to make this necklace and get gone. Now, without my money. Yeah. Okay, I asked you nice, and now I'm going to have to her <laughs> go hermitic on, your hermitic on your ass. Bear your mates in a reef. <laughs> At least they're clever with the, the witty uh, threatening talk here. <laughs> At least they're here cheering. Ah! Ow. What can I pick up in here? Cool, this. Mine. Die, lady. Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck. I just wrecked the shit out of that. <laughs> that cover behind her. Ah! 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 Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, it's not as good as the dragon engine, but it's giving me my fix, okay? I've been missing it. Ah! 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 Okay, he's dead. You're next. Ah, oh, wait, no, he's still alive. Oh, bah, that's it. Hold on. Have a seat. Ah! Dead. <laughs> oh, ah, I'm so sorry. Oh, what's an absolute disaster? Tell me the truth about these necklaces. These claims you've been making are completely bogus, aren't they? It's just as you suspected. Our love, our claw love necklaces don't actually possess any sort of power. To be a harvest coral from beneath the oak and out and see you crafted in necklaces. Tajma here hasn't really gone through any spiritual training either. We just have some obscure looking bubbles on him for that extra mystical touch. <laughs> of course. He looks like a mocap man. Please don't send me to the afterlife. I'm begging you, please. So basically you're just a couple of scam artists, huh? Damn it. Back to Kwame one again after all. I should have known. Please take this. This is the purchase price of your necklace. It'll some money for all the trouble we caused. Oh, good. Okay, I was like, I was about to be pissed off. Like, I just lost 50,000 yen. Hope you can find your heart to keep this under wraps. Me some customers to you, but this necklace was originally meant to give people hope and lift their spirits. We've had some customers tell us it's given them the courage to express their feelings of love to someone or help them get through the day at th their day at work. It made my life fucking ten times worse. Please don't take the magic away from them! Well, it's up to the individual if they want to believe a stupid piece of shit story about some sponge-type creature scrubbing off the ocean floor. But you need to stop forcing shops to lie. Lying is the bad thing here. But if we do, none of these will sell and our business will stick to the bottom of the sea! Under the sea, under the sea. You said the coral in the sex is authentic Okinawan coral, right? It actually makes a pretty nice piece of work. Of course it is. And Okinawan coral is the best in the world. Then focus on the quality of your product. If you sell it honestly without making false claims, you shouldn't have to dole out any refunds. Well, so long. Wait. What? What is it now? I want to say thank you. You give me the courage to try this from a whole new angle. As an honest everyday life accessory. Yes. Keep repeating up people has helped them change their way of life. Just as it always has. Sure. I'll be looking forward to it when it hits the shelves. And they're just going to keep doing what they're doing. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to go back in there and beat everybody up now. Again. All right. I think I might actually have enough to level up. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. All right. I think we got another... Yeah, the... these girls have been hanging around down in this shopping area for a while now. Okay. So, Thunder God. Here's my max heat gauge and allow me to run into dudes. Uh, swiftly regain your guard and my max health. A secret move that catches enemies off guard. Hold, holding your weapon is enough to strike fear into your foes. Uh, triangle near a scared enemy with a weapon. Oh, I see. When they say with a weapon, they're holding a weapon, not you. Uh, let's go with the regard. Especially, I think, for bosses, that's going to be very useful. Okay, uh, increase the power of throws. 
And more health. All right, girls, Crap. what now? Golden and goose. It's supposed to be super tasty. I heard my mom's talking to all her friends about it. A goo? You mean pork, right? I've never heard of a golden goo before. The same make you beautiful if you eat enough. It's chock full of collagen, which makes your skin brighter and healthier, too. And I've heard it helps you lose weight. This is some kind of fat-burning nutrients. Maybe they sell it at the public market. They got pretty much everything there. A goo. I was just there. I didn't see anything like that. Pork that makes you beautiful just by eating it? A golden goose must be something. But I'm already beautiful! I don't need anything to make me better. I am already the perfect specimen of a human being. Well. I know. Have you gotten a golden goo here? You know, the pork, the pork that keeps being fished on TV. Yeah, well, I, I've never seen this golden goo myself. Even regular agu pork is very hard to come by, you know. Well, what a perfect timing. Aren't you Ricky Chan's little friend? Oh, God damn it. I'm Kiryu. Give me a job. That's right. How silly of me. Oh, interesting. Is this because I went through with the... Actually, no. Uh, that, he's talking about Ricky. Ricky, uh, not the fat guy. How silly of me. I'm more of a perfect face person when it comes to remembering people. So, Gary, you child, would you happen to know where they might be selling some golden agu? I've been looking for it everywhere. Mm, sorry, but I wouldn't know. Well, I figured what with you being from Tokyo and all, that you know more than more than most, but that's too bad. If you do happen to come across a place that's selling golden agu, promise you'll tell me first. Whatever, lady. <sighs> a lot of customers are looking for this so-called golden agu lately. Is that so? Yeah, I even saw it on TV, but I have a hard time believing it's a genu genuine agu pork from Okinawa. I mean, this prime pork we're talking we're talking here, it's not the kind of meat you find at an average butcher shop either. These pigs are limited to experimental livestock stations. So the other day, some of us public market vendors sat down together and had a little talk about this golden agu, right? We all pitched in and found and bought some just to try it. And you know what? It doesn't smell or taste like genuine agu pork in the slightest. It was as plain as could be. Now, I hear this is a company selling this golden agu via mail order. Damn! I, I, I will say, though, it does seem like a lot of these uh, Ry Ryukyu Seven Wonders ones is kind of ending in a, <laughs> somebody getting scammed, right? It's in a building just a hair, hair northeast of a club called Flawless. Off Flawless. Offices on the second floor. Flawless. A place over north ha Hatsumachi. Yeah, you know. The place that... With the flashy big entrance. Just northeast of that. You can't miss it. Anyway, some pasta like these are hurting the local Okinawa economy. So you managed to track down these phony pork peddlers. Give them what for. We're willing to give you a reward. Cool. Okay, see, so like that guy right there. That is definitely an encounter. Just stands in place. Waits for me. I can, I see, I can actually avoid his gaze, too. He like, he, like, turns around. Oh, that's another bad guy. All right, actually, it does make avoiding dudes at least a little bit easier, as long as I can just kind of keep my eyes peeled. Oh, this thing under the railing. Was it, was I supposed to be keeping an eye out for some sheets of statues? Or the one I'm looking for. Stay closer to look. Oh, I was just trying to. I said northeast of the building. This wasn't even the one I was looking for, but okay. It's a like the one with the constable's photo. Let's do a call. Wow, well, really? He's in the middle of fucking. But fuck nowhere. Look at this. Hey, I'm the one to give you the Shisa photo. The you the one to give the Shisa photo to. Oh, you mean you've actually been looking for it? Yeah, I found one looks just like it. Can you come check it out? Yes, absolutely. We'll be right there. Cool. Good. We've just been staying in that same spot all day, waiting for you to call us back. So you say you found the Shisas in the photo? Yeah, over there. Oh my goodness, that's it. It's the spinning image of the one we have at home. To find it here, of all places. <laughs> yeah, really. Do you feel a little sorry for it? I've been searching for his partner for this whole time. Well, why don't we ask these people if they'll, they'll let us buy it? Thank you so much. It's not a whole lot, but please take this. Holy shit, okay. Now our house is properly protected. I hope we can stay as close as as close as these two crazy creatures. Close enough to welcome a new little creature into our lives? Maybe next year? You don't mean a baby. Then I guess all three of us will have to come back to Okinawa for a family trip. Yay! Valuable life lessons! Alright, cool. Well, that man's knocked out now real fast. Uh, okay, I guess it's not on this side. It's a northeast of it. There's not really anywhere else I can go up here. Oh, here we go. Northeast of Flawless. The mail order Golnagu Company should be on the second floor of this building. Pay the Golnagu Company a visit. Kill them! Okay, public market locals are pretty riled up about this place. Mal head and have a little chat. 
Oh my god, look at this huge dupe. Excuse me, I want to ask you something about the golden dog you've been selling. Who let you in here? What the hell is this golden dog you speak of? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, boss, new guy, new guy, great timing. I just received word that the utility grade pork shipments arrived from both China and Australia without a hitch. So, what should we label our mystery meat this time? I guess we've been calling it Gold Aku. I would bump up to Platinum Stats. Ooh, that all go over well. You absolute <laughs> fuckwit. You don't know how to close your mouth when outsiders are around? <laughs> Come on, boss. Is this the new guy? I mean, he sure doesn't look like he's on, on the up and up about our little operation. Am I sure we can fill him in? Oh, my God. You know what? I'm out of here. If you have any special increases, just talk to my assistant. You're not going anywhere until you get the truth. Now come clean about the pork or prepare to get pork chopped. <laughs> He's a yaksa, really? This chubby dude? Fuck it. I'm gonna take his fucking meaty and hit you with it. Time to die, dipshit. Die! Ah! Bash his fucking head in Jesus. Damn, that was actually that one actually ended up being, being more brutal than some of the other heat actions. Eh, eh, I'm sorry, I just I couldn't help myself. I don't know if there's such a thing. Now answer my question. What's the deal with this gold pork gold nagu pork I keep hearing about? Well, do I need to spell it out for you? Gold nagu is a sham, my friend. We buy him pork chief from China, Australia, and then we roast it up or glaze it, no one knows the difference. So this show, the internet with flashy brand names, Ricks and Tens of Times the Profit. So that's what this is about. Yeah, now you know, I'm about laying off, huh? I'm all these sucker. After all these su suckers deserve what they get. What a filthy, filthy man you are! You ought to be ashamed of yourself! This one! Oh my god, they just show up randomly! <laughs> Looking on okay, now, and so working themselves with a bone to raise up authentic gargoo pork. And I want like cows like you, so the reputation. <laughs> Die! We're gonna cook you up and eat you instead. Uh, oh yeah? And who the hell are you old hacks supposed to be? The old chapter of the Pork Patrol, ha? Huh? I says you show some respect and apologize. Maybe when pigs fly. When it comes to local- <laughs> yeah, You're about to go flying, Porky! When it comes to locals who worked hard to raise their food, you better watch out. Compared to what they're capable of, what I did to you was nothing. <laughs> out with it. We want a public apology, and that's, the be and that's just the beginning. Forgive me. I've been nothing but a selfish, greedy hog. Thanks to you, we finally figured out the secret behind this bark bar kind phenomenon. <laughs> Indeed, we appreciate your help. But aren't you a tad disappointed now? But I, aren't you a tad disappointed? I won't be getting any pretty abiding high quality pork here, you John. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I am. I need to get out of here. Yeah, but just I would like you to have this. Took it to my gratitude. Money! We're pulling this one out of the police now. Thanks again. Cool. <laughs> like I said, we're not running too many scams. Then this last like couple have been nothing but scams. But at least it's sort of funny. I don't know. There's at least a relative amount of like, like, and then in the end, like the the towns people come together to stop the evil doer. No, it's just so ridiculous. It happens in like the blink of an eye. It's all that glitters is gold. Even this car down a belly of a pig. What? What? <laughs> God damn it! Uh, oh, what? We still have one more. I would have thought. I don't see it on the map though. Maybe it's back in the back at home or something. All right, well, we managed to knock out a whole bunch of these at least. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and head back to the back to the orphanage, and uh, I'm gonna try fishing as well. Oh, it's that little weedy dude! Oh, he's actually here now at the orphanage. Interesting. I guess I can't get sub stores just hanging out outside here too. <laughs> he's waiting for me. He's gonna jump me when I walk over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, sensei! Oh my sensei! Oh god! I've been waiting for you. Sensei? The hell? Remember me? You helped me at the bird joining outside the cabaret club. And, well, that last one, you kind of, you kind of one up me, but I will just forget about that one. Oh, you again. What do you want this time? Well, after we last met, I tried real hard to get a date on my own. But no matter what I do, I can't get a girl to go on a second date, let alone a first. <laughs> That's actually kind of a funny line. I can't, can't get a second date, let alone a first date. So I decided to come here and ask you to teach me how to talk to women. I want to know everything you know. Will you come with me? Just over there, please. Well, all right. He's going to try to kill me, right? Right then. What's the best way to talk to women? Why don't you ask one of your friends to help you? Yeah. I have no friends. <laughs> They're not good enough. I want to be just like you, Sensei. Then you better get buff. So who is that girl at the front door? 
Uh oh, that'd be Haruka. <laughs> Haruka chan, she's really cute. Uh, dude, are you kidding me? So, is Haruka chan seeing anyone right now? You want to go on a date with Haruka now? Hmm. You're too desperate. Don't do it. Ask her yourself. I have no idea. How the. What? Haruka's like 13 or something, right? Is this dude supposed to be like 18? How old is this guy supposed to be? Fuck this creepo. Man, fuck you. You're too desperate. You're too desperate. You're going after every girl that walks into your life, literally. First was a burger girl, then that hostess. Which one do you like the most? Leave my not daughter alone, you weirdo. Right now, I like Haruka chan, chan the best. This guy's a fucking weirdo. Mm -hmm. Haruka, turn him down and kill him. Huh, what is it? Do you need something? Oh, um. Perfect timing. Go on, ask her. Uh, um, Haruka chan. Hmm? I, uh. Could you hurry up? I'm pretty busy right now. I've got to make something for the kids. Uh, wait, kids? Yeah, it's a tough week, especially with how much everyone eats. Daddy, who is this pussy? I don't know. He's bugging the fuck out of me. Which that means this ain't Harkachan. Harkachan, Ar, Ar. Wait, I thought you were my age. Are you much that much older than me? Don't make this weird, you little asshole. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is a. This is gonna be a weird sub story. What was that all about? No idea. You don't even worry about him. He's dead now. All right. I'm starting to get tired of this guy. It was funny at first, but he's making it weird now. I'm not cool with that. I see a box. <gasps> An old magazine. Okay, let's not toss it away immediately. Apparently, this is used for materials. Guessing if it's not, if it's seemingly like something useless, it's just probably materials. Hi, Arca. Hold on. I'm going to go fishing in a second. Hey, I'm up to 10% completion. All right. Good for me. <laughs> 22 weapons broken. Six pedestrians knocked down. These are very important stats to keep. Wait a minute. I thought I would heal. Oh, oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. In or I thought it actually automatically healed me if I, if I went in the room. It doesn't. You heal slowly as you're in here. Oh, fuck you, game. Come on. What is this Shen Shenmue bullshit? <laughs> I must sit here and I'll wait in real time to rest. That is so stupid. Fuck you. Gives me time to look at how many weapons I've broken again. Now, one thing I am curious about, will I use the bait out of my item box? I hope to God. I hope the cod they th thought that far ahead. If I try to go fishing, he actually just hit me too. The longer, the longer your HP bar, the longer you have to wait here too. All right, game, look, I did it. Booyah. You happy now? Kiryu, Daddy Kiryu is a very patient man. All right, let's go try fishing. I wonder if it's possible to fish without bait. Did I have to use bait in Yakuza 0? I don't know if I remember having to do that. Oh, Fishing Champ Magazine. What? Offer some great fishing tips. Is this like the, the tutorial? Do I have to find that before I... No, you motherfucker! Ah, I was really hoping they would have they would have thought that far ahead, but nope. Guess again, bitch. We're gonna use another fish as bait. Okay, let's get some night fishing a try. Fishing. Select your bait and then decide where to cast your line. Each type of bait has a different range of effect, and the fish won't bite if you use the wrong bait. Items in your position that can be used as bait will be shown in the list. The gauge shows where fish are most concentrated. Use bait that's effective in those areas. What? Wait, really? I, so, what? So you have to know, do I, have to, I just have to guess what bait is the most effective on getting that fish. Cast your line and wait for the fish to bite. Press the X icon will appear when the fish is biting. Press quickly, press X and reveal the line in. R1 reels in while L adds, L1 adds some slack. Pay attention to the tension gauge and don't let the fish snap your line. Tilt the left stick left all right, following the movement of the fish, tilts it up and down to raise or lower the pole. Control attention on the line and reel the fish all the way in for successfully catch it. I bet there are lots of fish over, over there. Start fishing. Uh, yep. So these burger sets can be used for that. Let's just start with a, let's just start with a, a worm. Uh, okay, move cursor. Confirm, pull rod in, reel in, give slack. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, oh, it's bouncing back and forth. Okay. Okay, so I can't rotate. So it's got like landed on there. What is the blue area? 
That fish. You can say. You can say. Yeah. Okay. Now we play the waiting game. I got it. Woo! Yeah! Give some slack, give some slack, give some slack. Am I pulling it? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. You say go the direction it's pulling? I think it is, yeah. Pull, pull the direction he's going. So the slack doesn't go, so it doesn't get too, uh, oh god. Oh, that beeping sound is killing me. Not like, I'm not like trying to tire the fish out. I don't think. You guess so. Oh, fuck you. Piece of coral. Cool. That was a really wildly piece of coral, I gotta say. Sick. Yeah, I'm gonna follow the movement of the fish. So it, it, it decreases the slack. Oh, was that... Oh, okay. I see. It, yeah. We're actually seeing the... um. Depending on what, what bait I pick, it highlights an area. So the fish that I want to aim for are in the highlighted area. Gotcha. Smile burger set. Okay, so the Soaky burger gives me jack shit. All right, I feel like I'm a pro at this already. So let's just go ahead and chop in the deep end. Smile burger. Because yes, we all know that fish love burgers. You go say. You go say. Holy fuck. That's way out there. Give me that. Oh god. You come here, Mr. Fish. So no! My burger! If that was a tuna, I'm gonna rip my face off. Hmm, seems like it maybe gives me another try with that same fish. Seemingly because the fish are in the exact same position as they were a second ago. Come here, mother. Oh, oh, fuck. Do not pull back. Holy shit. Okay, pulling back very bad. Pulling back immediately broke that line. Why does it give me, give me that option? Fuck. I think I might have missed the fish. If I pull it back, can I re, can I re throw it? Uh. Oh, just miss. Yeah, okay. I didn't get a bite. I lose my bait, don't I? I fucking do. Okay. What the hell? Fuck, man. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I, I actually didn't realize. So, okay. It's actually a measure of how far you're throwing it out there. That's what this is. So, it's 0 to 150. I'm just going to bet. Since apparently the tuna is the hardest one, it's going to be something near the end. So, if I don't even see any fish that are near that end, I'm just not even going to fucking bother. Right? That's probably the way to go about this. Let me hop back in and then hope for the best. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is super RNG. Okay. Oh, it sucks. He can't go through the messages faster here. Just going to wait till I get one that's like relatively close to the right. No. Okay. Let me go ahead. We'll just do some more practice here. Because the tune is going to be tough, right? Make sure I got like a nice strategy down here. Start with a worm again. Mm. What? Miss? Weird. I land around the fish. Is it random? Even then, you might not get a bite, potentially. Oh, baby. Well, that looks like a promising one. All right. Let's see if we can get this. All right. Here we go. Holy shit. This is a white little asshole. Ah! Oh, damn it. He started off relatively doable and then suddenly got really hard. All right. I want to really focus. This is the fucking... Persona 4 Guardian all over again. Mm. Oh no, that sucks. There's actually a there's actually a chance that he just won't even get a bite. 
Oh, that's a serious fucking a piece of shit right there. All right. I thought it was like, as long as you get land on the fish, it'd be a guarantee, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna have to go buy some more fucking smile burgers if I can't get it this time. No! Ah! Wow, this guy is tough. It starts off pretty normal, like, and then suddenly he's just like really rapidly going back and forth. And I maybe that's I think there might be moments where he's actually moving upward and I have to pull up. Maybe it's just I don't know, maybe not. Or maybe I maybe there's moments where he's he's standing still and I don't want to actually pulling any direction. Well, I'm all out of burgers, sadly, so. Apparently the silky burger set does not give me what I need. It has to be the smile burger. Oh hey. There's a key in this, and a smile burger. I will take 14 of your gr best smile burgers, sir. What, a oh, a Goya burger? A laser claw? Okay. I was like, what? What's he talking about? A Goya burger? That sounds disgusting. I'm sure the laser club will be thrilled about that for some reason. Okay. The fish way the fuck over there. Let's give this a go. Come on, motherfucker. Dumb fish, asshole. Hope I'm making progress. Because I'm not even looking at the bottom left right now. No! Fuck! Last thing is a pain in the ass. Jesus. The good news, it does seem like you can retry it. Unless the fish don't seem to change here. Okay, I got down to 100. So I'm definitely making progress. But this is a very slow and steady kind of thing. Okay, I'm getting a good stay rhythm here. I'm actually finding if I don't... Actually, I'm not sure how much I actually need to use the slack one. As long as I let go of the button, but pull the direction he's pulling, it tends to go down on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god. Look at him just going back and forth. He's got a fairly set pattern, though. I'm kind of seeing that. That's yes, right. I'm getting your shit now, motherfucker. Yeah, I got you, little asshole. Come on. Come on, you little bit. You little bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Yeah! Oh, oh, that is definitely a fucking tuna, motherfucker. Yeah! All right. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, I'm a girl. We'll find a top grade. Wow, big tuna. We'll find a top grade bluefin tuna like this very often. Look at this big asshole. All right. Look at you. Aren't you? Wow, you are very shiny. I'm going to mount you. At least I would if I didn't have to give you away and I, for a sub story, but okay. First, I was like, this just seems fucking ridiculous, but I, I got a good uh, way of going through it. It was like, basically, I didn't even use the L1 button at all. Just keep following his movements with your rod. And then uh, once it starts to, the tension starts to get high, just let go. Let go of the, the right button. Still keep following his movements the whole time. It will go down on its own. And then once it's lo uh, fairly low again, pull, start uh, pulling it in again. And just keep doing that. And it took, I mean, it took like, it was probably like two or three straight minutes, but I fucking got it. Damn, this thing sells for a lot of money too. But whatever, do it for the dump sub stores. Let's go do that real quick. <laughs> I actually did like the music it was playing though. All right, dude. All right, you're back. About time. So what's going to be? You paying up catching me a fish or? Here, I got your dumb fish. I've got other fish for, for you. Take a look. Is it up to your standards? What should I give? Maguro! You're not going to find anything better than this, so if you don't like it, too bad. Take it. Wow, that's what I call fish. Who needs a Rikyu Seabream when you catch something like this, baby? Seabream is all yours, friend. I'm a man of my word. Hand it over, Maguro. I got a shittier fur at fish. I get back to this fish market, the public market. All right, cool. How does this one look like? Oh, it's actually a key item. Yeah. 
Rare fish you can only catch near downtown Ry Ryukyu. All right, go me. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Based on what I was reading your ass comments, you guys may sound like this shit is not worth it. and It will take you hours to get. But I managed to get it within at least a relatively fair amount of time. It's like once you fi once I figured out the, the key to doing it. All right, dude. Oh, curious son. How'd it go? Did you manage to get that Ryukyu sea bream? Do some shopping. No, tell them about it. Oh, hey, there's a sparkly thing. Yeah, here we go. Hand over the Ryukyu sea bream. You did it. You really did it. There it is. This is the fish. Hey, what a beautiful Ryukyu sea bream it is. My daughter and her husband will be thrilled. Well, here's 100,000 yen for the fish. Let me know if any other good stuff comes in. Of course. Please come again. This fish cannot be good anymore, all right? We've had it sitting out in the open, unrefrigerated for ages. Thank you so much for your help, Kiri-san. You really saved my neck. Don't mention it. Oh, and by the way. Uh, here's your money back. Keep your word to your customers. What? Oh, 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 I can choose to give the money back to him or... Bitch, I... No, fuck you. That's <laughs> my fish. Don't ever go back on a deal like that again. Trust the most important factor in a business like yours. Yes, sir. I've definitely learned my lesson. Rest assured, I'll never let that happen like this again. Also, it ends well, right? If you ever go... At the... look, at... look out for some tasty fish. You know where to go. Assuming that didn't fucking fail it. Right? No, we're good. <laughs> okay. F fuck you. I'm getting some reward out of this. I don't know. Maybe he would have given me some dank shit, but I am actually a little curious. So I'm going to, I do want to check and see what happens if I, if I had given it back to him. Oh shit. Actually, if I had chosen to return the money, he apparently would have refused and then give me a silver plate. So I actually would have gotten an addition. I would have gotten an additional thing. Ah, damn it. Of course. I should know better. Come on. Nice guys are always the ones that win in the end. At least in the Yakuza games. Nice guys finish first in Yakuza world. What a beautiful world it is we live in. That's all right. I think I, I think silver plates are like 50,000 and gold plates are like 100,000. I think if I remember how that sells. It's all right. I mean, I'm not really in dire need of more money. You actually sell me stuff? You like fishing shit? Oh, cool. I can actually buy fish if I need to. Oh, and bait. Yeah, cool. Look at me with all my burgers. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need. I don't need official bait when I can toss fast food into the into the ocean. That's a good thing, right? Wow. Wow. This thing sells for two, or buys for two hundred thousand. So I guess I think it sells for a hundred thousand. Then it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I see you. Hey. All right. It's actually. That's right. I actually, have to be looking upward now, not just on the what's on the ground for sparklies. It's kind of, I actually don't mind that too much. I think it's kind of like a, a nice little switch to the, uh, the formula. I actually, I'm actually finding it interesting that it's, I don't think I remember having that in, uh, later games. None of the games I played where I actually have to look up to pick shit up, which I bet means there's fucking one in here somewhere, right? I thought it was super weird that I came up here and there's nothing. It's not key on the floor or anything, but I didn't really look up. Oh, well, I... I didn't find the key yet, but I did find this rotund man who wishes to battle me. And then everyone immediately gathers around. Kicking your chairs. No, I still don't see anything. I am very shocked by that. Oh, wait. Wait. No, there is one. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Ha ha. Wait, what? Is that a locker key? Might be worth taking closer. Oh, do I, have to, I actually have to get closer. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, come on, there has to be something up here. Wow, that was a really sneaky one. That was hard to see. Oh, I see another one. I've been looking at the ground so much. I've been I've been looking up towards the stars. Shoot for the stars, Kiryu chan. That's what I always tell myself. Oh, what the hell? I actually got a new I got another new quest. Is that from completing the fish one? Oh god. Do I have to catch another fish? <laughs> come on. I catch I caught the biggest fish. Now you gotta catch the ultra even bigger fish. Bigger jaws. All right, what we got? Old suspension. Top quality charcoal. Yay. Toughness emperor. Ah, oh, tire skin belt. I already have one, though. You're too late, locker. A bloody cloth. Dope. I think I actually remember this item. If I remember correctly, this item, like, increases your attack but lowers your defense in previous games. What could have... Oh, cloth drenched in blood. What could have led to this? Is it not a piece of armor? Oh, maybe not. Is this actually, like, a material? Gross. Only with this bloody cloth will I be able to complete my dragon iron. Forged from the blood of innocence. The guy's back. Oh my God, he is this guy again. What the hell? What are you doing back here, dude? Why did the fish mission trigger you? Do you want a tuna as well? I'm allowed. Sorry. You're back again. What's going on this time? 
I went and talked to a lawyer about filing for bankruptcy, but he said I can't. He told me to work harder instead. What do you mean you can't file for bankruptcy? He said because I use the loans on gambling entertainment and, and the purchasing of whores, I can't declare bankruptcy. Then he told me to stop messing around and take responsibility. I deserve that. So you came back to the river and decided to kill yourself? Yeah. I don't know what else I can do. Fine, I will put you out of your misery. Thank you, Carrie and John. Blah, blah. Smash that on the railing. I told you before, dying won't help you. You took out those loans. It's up to you to find a way to pay them back. I'm sure you're right, but... Oh, that's it. Her saying about consolidating a bunch of different loans into one and how that might help me with my situation. Mm. What do you think? Should I try that? Watch out. It could be a scam. At least it's something. Uh, I don't know, man. It sounds like it could be a scam, to be honest. If it's something too good to be true, it probably is. Guys like you are easy marks for scam artists. Same thing as offers are scams? Just say for sure, but you have to watch out for yourself. If that's what you think, Kiryu son, then I have to think this all over more carefully. No, I'm gonna die! It's a good idea. Remember, they're your loans. You've gotta take responsibility for them. Huh, <sighs> you sound just like my dad! I am your dad! Plot twist! Well, thank you for talking to me again. I really appreciate it. Let me feel like I can get through it get through this somehow. Here, Kiryu son, I'd like you to have this. It's a gun! Use it to put me out of my misery! Oh for God's sakes. Who was stamina on rail? Thanks. I'll try harder for now. Thanks again. Well, on the bright side, I am level 20. I'm a substory fan. I think I am up to 30 now. Maybe. Yep. Cool. Uh, I can upgrade too. All right. Uh, thwart enemies' attacks or the this move where strike, strike enemies in fear. Let's just go with the one that gives me two things. Thwart enemies will attacks while running in them in heat mode. So I guess someone's like shooting at me. I just will run through it and not give a fuck. Booyah. Uh, tortoise spirit. Block enemy attacks with the spirit of the black tortoise to increase your heat gauge. Activated after successful guard with L1. Okay, so block enemy attacks just fill up my heat gauge, basically. Cool. All right, I am getting stronger. I'm also noticing I'm doing a lot more damage to enemies. Did anything else pop up? No? Hey, I see another, I see another key. I assume that's what that is. Yep. Oh, another one. Hey, there's another one. I don't know how the hell I'm reaching these. I'm carrying like a big stick with me or something. Daddy Kiryu, you got some serious ups. You used to play b-ball back in high school. I used to dunk on some fools. Oh, fuck. Speaking of which, time to dunk on another fool. Yeah, look at that. I think I got like a one full combo now. Ah. Bruh. Doing some work now. A broken clock. Guessing that's a <laughs> this clock w moves fine, but it run back. It runs backwards. I guess this is a material. I'm just gonna assume. Hey, there's another one. Oh, good, more old magazines. Piss Mountain Stone. What the fuck? The best material in the game somehow. Ooh, one, two, three, gum. Stimulate your senses. Stamina and spark. And. Shadow Blade! Dope! This blade is said to be like a shadow, immaterial until the moment it pierces a foe's flesh. Dope! Holy shit, where have you been my whole life? Fuck, it's like sweet from, these lo from this locker. Uh, okay, so it's got 30 durability and... Holy shit, 110 attack and more durability. Fuck yeah. A hu yeah, 110 attack power. Oh my god, that's awesome. Now that's more like it. Get rid of this dumb bat. Who gives a shit about bats anyway? That's a basic bitch shit. A stone often rumored about on the net will cause my, my opponents to piss in CeeLo. <laughs> what? Why would I want that? I have a feeling that a lot of these locker keys, though, I've already gotten a few from side quests and stuff. So I probably can't just find all... I'm not going to find all of them around the city. Oh, oh. Oh, this is a... Oh, CeeLo's a... I was like, what is CeeLo? CeeLo is a, is a gambling game. One, two, three. I've never heard I'll make my post roll a one, two, three in CeeLo. This is often remembered that it will cause my post to piss in CeeLo. What the fuck? But okay, it's a gambling thing. Gotcha. Okay. I forgot. I was like, what's CeeLo again? You get CeeLo, the singer, to piss on you. What? Why? Why would I? No. All right. I think we're done. Hopefully, mostly everything there is to do at the moment. So let's get the, let's get the fuck out of here. Arka, daddy's ready to go. What's wrong, Arka? Can't sleep? Yes, I guess there's a lot in my mind, but you don't need to wait for me, Uncle Cause. You have a big trip tomorrow. Uh, true. I should probably hit the hay. Fair enough. I should probably hit the hay. Don't stay up too late, all right? I want sweet dreams, Uncle Cause. Sweet dreams, Arka. Hora! 
このワンゴー逃げんな待てドギー It's always a she bird, isn't it? Woof! The hell? Oh, uh, tell me he's not about to beat that dog. Uh, you're gonna get this dog, you stupid mutt. Stop! The hell? He's gonna make this dog a friend of yours. Yeah! Yeah! Die! Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Get back! Wait! Come back! You not get away that easy! Oh shit, I know where that dog's from. Language, Mickey! Up. What the fuck? Now tell me about this dog. Well, he used to live over at Iza Izakaya in Hasamachi. Quite a little fellow back then. Not the nothing maniac is now. Honestly, he's so out of his mind, I didn't even recognize him at first. But he's never the same dog. The guy who ran the place shipped him. On up to Tokyo a while ago, though. Guess he just abandoned the dog. Hey, didn't you used to have a dog of your own, Izumi chan? Yeah. Can I go look for the dog who caused, please? Just wait. I'm sure he'll come back eventually. Yeah. To mall us later. No, I'm gonna go find him. All right. You want a hand? Yes, please. <clears throat> no luck, boys. Nah, you got away. Best dog I ever seen. You just slow tight you, you fat fuck. I totally could have caught him. Oh, yeah, why, why didn't you? It's enough, you two. God damn it. Where'd the dog go? Sprint off to a town. Well, it's looking like we're on a little field trip then. Yeah, I guess he has a right. We are not leaving yet. Okay. Really going after it? Yep. You two want to join? <sighs> nah, I'm poop. I want a fucking sandwich. Me too. I'm sick of chasing dogs. I'm coming. How about me and Azumi go to peek over on Rikio Boulevard? You can check off some Hachi, sir. Sounds good. That means I'm being the one to find it. God damn. Mikio Layer is getting ready to beat that dog. What the fuck, Mikio? Come on, Mizumi. Coming. That's a no no, Mikio. Why are we chasing him? Is he, is he mauling people? I just said he's fucking crazy or something? He's just been. Nandaya! I told you, I don't want, I want any ice cream. Oh, Kaz is going to say. Say same thing. Damn it, kid. You're not listening to the words coming out of my mouth. I need to see a guy named Cosmic cure you. What's going on here? Why are you talking to my son? Wait. Are you Cosmic cure you? Yeah. What do you want with one of my kids? I don't appreciate people pressuring them to buy ice cream. Cosmic cure you. I've come for you. Yeah, that's right. I know you know Kamiyama. I train Kamiyama in the use of a bunch of weapons he carries. I'm kind of a master at them. <laughs> Where did the whole ice cream thing come up? What? Weapons master, you must say. Name's Yanashiro. I thought for sure it would be Kamaki would be this guy. I guess not. Kamaki will probably be in, uh, back in Kamurocho. Uh, he's, he's gonna show up. Kamiyama told me about you. are looking for new and exciting ways to bust skulls. Here I am. Why would, I, why would a master come all this way out at the request of his pupil? Okay, okay, you're a little suspicious. Understandable. But I'm not a rich dude. I spend most of my time selling ice cream on the beach. Oh, <laughs> Kamiyama is my pupil, but he also sells me weapons at a discount because I'm such a great guy. Because I'm, and because I'm such a great guy, I can't use him when he asks me to do something. This is Kamiyama's weapons master. Maybe I, should, maybe I should have him teach me. Learn from him. Okay, I'll take you up on that. Yes, yes, I was worried you were going to chicken out. Pussy, come find me on the beach, if you're man enough, that is. Got it, I'll see you down there. Uh, where you at, dude? Do I have to get closer for you to, like, fade into existence? I'm going to see a piece of something here. It's a cinder block. A shard of tempered glass. Dope. Oh, I see him. He's way... He's staying on a rock over here. Genki da. I'm star ass kicker. Ready? Hone your, hone your ass king skills. Yes, I'm ready, sensei. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, that's what I like to hear. So there's one little itty-bitty thing I need to know first. What kind of weapons can you already use? Well, I guess I can only... I only really know two two real techniques. The sword technique I learned from an old man, and the staff technique I learned from an old lady. Who's the old lady? Oh, old lady in Kiwami 2, I think, right? Old man would be, sword technique would be uh, Kamaki, maybe? I think the old lady one was like the lady that I fought in the, was it the arena or something? I think I was self-taught, I thought I can't hold my own. Available weapons. To get information about the weapons you can currently use, press triangle on the pause menu screen to display abilities. Look at her weapons. 
Yeah, that's more of the, more of the trick that usually show up here now. I guess you'll focus... You want to focus on something you can't already crash skills with, huh? Sounds great. How do I use a golf club? All right, then. How about a nunchaku? Pretty badass weapons, you ask me. Okay. Nunchaku. Nunchaku. A more iconic and Okinawan weapon there ain't. There ain't. Don't be fooled by their opposing appearance. They might look definitely powerful, but that's because they are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used Nunchaku in a, another game at some point. I, I thought I did. Okay, Nunchaku it is. All right, take off your shirt. And get in the ring. No way you're going to be able to move the way you need your dress now. <laughs> I, I can't move with this stuffy shirt. Okay, I'm getting naked. Ah! Oh, yeah. Bare chest. How was that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, now put the baby oil on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think you're not the weapons master after all. So when do I get my Dunchaku? Never. Okay, not never, but they're my babies. I can only give them out to people I know who can handle them. What? Can't even, I can't even hold them? I'm supposed to master the Chaku without using them. That's the Yanashira style, baby. You can't truly master a weapon until you beat an, arm, an armed opponent unarmed. Using your arms and legs, I guess. Oh my god, what the? Yes, this makes perfect sense. So I'm gonna, he's gonna beat me with it. I got to beat him up to, to get it. Do that, and you'll be able to. You'll be forced to learn the weapon's weak points. I've been traveling the world fi fighting weapon masters for years. This is how you learn. I see, this makes complete sense. Of course, I see some shit in my travels, man. Some real shit, feel me? That does things to a man. Got me asking some creepy. Psh, like he's one to talk. Anyway, you want some ice cream? But enough talk. Have any last regrets? No, then let's begin. Beat me. Kaya. Let's go. Why is your shirt still on? Uh, uh. Holy shit, what the hell? Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Ow, we hit each other. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, I'm glad I got that regard move. Yeah. Bye. Damn, Kiri-san, you done it. You done did it. Now you're master than Chucku. Your training is done, Chucku. Come on, Kiri-san, the pun wasn't that bad. No, it's not that. Listen, Yashiro-san, are you really a strong fighter? What? You injure me, sir. How could you look upon my sick fighting skills and not despair? No, that's why I'm asking. Tell you the truth. I didn't have much trouble beating you. So which is it? Are you holding back? Or are you really that weak? <laughs> you got me. Not a single one of the chumps got me Yama referred to me ever figure that out. Not one, but you. Oh, you did. I should have known you would. What do you mean? I'm holding... This is only a tenth of my true power. Well, let's not talk about Kamiyama. Total genius, right? Yeah, nah. Only about weapons. He's no freaking idea to judge a person's character. Been working with him for eons. Man, not a single dude he sent could beat a one-legged guy in an ass-kicking contest. Ass-kicking is what I teach, man. But I didn't want to offend my roly-poly pals. I've just been letting them beat me and give me, give them a little gold star for doing the same thing. You, though. You could beat a, you could kick a billion ass without even breaking a sweat. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah! Okay, it's Hyper Yonashiro time. What? Oh, too amazing for you. What the? Oh! oh my god, his hair! That beautiful perm! All you did was take off your hat. Hey, hey, someone's observant. That means you're going to fight seriously? Right. Yes, look, this cap? This cap is literally a cap. You feel me? A cap. Oh, my ability! Ah! When I'm wearing it, my power is capped. When it's off, I'm fully uncapped. Weighted hat! Um, are you okay? Never better. Why do you ask? No, no, we can play doctor after this does. So let's do it! Same rules before. Drop me and don't get dropped. Only forget that you forget you, the guy you just fought. This is hard mode, Yashiro. All right. Bring it on, Kyu-san. I'll try not to kill you. You better have more health this time. Uh, let's go. Hey, I can actually skip that. That's neat. You have barely more health. Fuck you. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 blocking, so much blocking.
At least the final hit of a combo, he seems to not want to block. Oh my god, I got stunned. Fuck. Alright, I went. Still not that much harder, man. Oh, good fuck you, son. You and my man are full of shit and vinegar. How serious that time, man. I'm serious in that trip to the crap after my mom's five alarm curry. I'm seriously surprised you beat me. Can I have a, give me a second? Going hyper out of shit takes a lot out of me. Gotta take some time to recharge it. Whatever, man. <laughs> Kiryu is still not impressed. Damn, we're actually trying to kill me. I like your style, man. You're definitely the real thing, Yanashiro san. Can you teach me another weapon later? <laughs> ha! Careful, Kiryu san. You might just stop my heart saying stuff like that. Or hit me the way you do. You're the one, really. And that's why I like you. Oh, hey, I promised. I promised you a face certificate, everything, didn't I? Here. A Chuku Master Certificate. Yay! Show us to Kamiyama. This little piggy will crap his pants. Even better, he'll sell you some Nunchaku. Ain't that great? Harry can even make you a custom pair if you got the designs and materials. Ask for him for the details, though. I don't know about beating fools with them, not making them. Anyway, I gotta, go, I gotta say, you really grown on me, Kiryu son. Growing on me like the tumor my, my mama has. <laughs> what? <laughs> and science is best to keep teaching tumors martial arts. That's why I've decided to stay here. It means you can train with me anytime you like. Cool. Teach me how to do other things. When you're asking kills, sk skills, I'm ready. All right, so I'd like to hear. What's next, Sensei? Second verse, same as the first. Beat me and you win. Which do you want to try? Uh, the tally six is a compa. I, I definitely learned how to do. I already knew how to do these. I've had weapons like this in the past. I guess this game, I have to. I have to learn it. Tough of it. Tough you got it. I'll show you one-handed tough technique. One-handed. Yeah. Most just think they need a tough on each hand. But they understand is that one is more than two. My special one hand Tonfa technique is a real stunner. <laughs> get it? Really? Yeah, because we have. I've had Tonfa before, but I always use two. You'll get it if you hit. You get it if you get hit by it. Try not to get hit by it. All right. Let's get it on. Get on like Donkey Kong. Let's see, will these get progressively harder? Potentially. Uh, these have the same amount of, of health. Oh my god. Blockity, blockity, blockity. Yeah, get fucked. Ah, ah. <laughs> He's got the one move. Yeah, really teach me, teach me well, Sensei. I win. Ah, oh, fuck you, Sam. I'm a man of full of shit and vinegar. Okay, back up, back up, Thank you, Sam, man. All right. Top of Master Certificate. All right, Cali Sticks. You want to learn about Cali Sticks? You, Kiryu son. Do you even know anything about Cali Sticks? No, not really. I just, <laughs> even though I used them in the other games, I was just kind of fucking around. The part of Cali, a martial art for the Philippines. When I was learning, my master kicked my ass into, well, let's just say I haven't completely caught up with it yet. While he was wooden those, those sticks, I couldn't touch him. I was like, it was like, think you got me? Ha, nope, wham, ouch. So I knew I had to learn how to do it. I knew it in my bones. Maybe that was just all the crack. <laughs> the, all, all the crack. No, that was just all the cracks. But, but I did learn how to do it. Now you're going to learn it too. All right. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, fuck me. That that move right there, bitch. That's the, that was the move. I used that like just triangle move. Triangle move. You do so much dumb damage with that move. A lot of semen in Yuxa 3 they had it. Actually, I don't know. Maybe that was... I think Kiryu... No, I had it with Kiryu. But I also had it with Yagame, I believe. Oh, what the hell? He's like immediately churning around. Come on, man. Oh, that is so bullshit. What the hell? I'm getting behind you. I'm, I'm like, I'm right behind him. You should not be able to turn around and immediately block. Just when I thought this game was getting sort of consistent. In that regard. Ow. Okay, I'm starting to get my ass beat. Oh my god, so much blocking. There we go. Fuck you, dude. Shut up and give me my certificate of authentication. Anything else? 
Oh, yeah, bad news case, son. You've already, you already know all my kick ass ass kicking techniques, huh? What all the time you spend traveling in the world collecting techniques? You just do three? Yeah, see, that's kind of the problem. What do you mean? A time you spent rattling my noggin. I think you knocked something loose. We're back into place. I remember something. What? Remember what it was like to travel the world kicking ass in exact locales with masters wielding exact styles? I miss that life. But I haven't used the other techniques I've learned for more than a decade, man. I could teach them to you. I could barely. I could barely even use them. Or I couldn't teach them to you. I see. Sorry, I pushed you then. Money. No way, man. I'm the one who should apologize. I'm too rusty. Gotta go around Japan and the world and get my brain rattled again until I remembered everything. Thanks for everything, then. Where are you going next? One of my old teachers, a master of Chinese martial arts based out of Osaka. She's first on my list. Wow. I guess you really have traveled all over the world. All over the place. Why have I asked the name of this master? What? Just to, just to talk about the underground man. But hell, I guess that wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. She goes by White Lotus, though. She's getting on in years. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Hmm. We're not be talking about Granny White, would you? Hell, you know her. Okinawa isn't exactly next door to Osaka. <laughs> Damn, I had no idea the old lady was so famous. I'll stop polite to keep an old lady waiting, am I right? I guess it's time to head out. All right, so it'll teach me some shit later. After Osaka, straight to Tokyo. And a few great clubs up there. So track me down if you had a side scene in Tokyo or something. Uh, m maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be going to Tokyo in this game, so I'll probably just come back later with some shit. Yeah, the old lady was the one that taught me the... That, that's who she, he was referring to. That was the White Lotus, I believe. And I do remember her. All right, cool. I can use more weapons. I didn't even realize I couldn't use. I see no new sub-stories. Let's not right off the bat. Oh, he said... They said look in... Uh, I'll try Hatsumashi, so to the north. Birds! Dog! Hello, Fluffy. There it is. He looks friendly. Okay, maybe not. Don't worry, boy. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm your best pal, Kiryu. Shit. All right, get back here. Catch that pup. Hold down R2 to dash. Don't, and don't let the dog have your sight. Oh, shit. Here we go. Huh. Huh. Oh my god, Kiryu can fly! Damn, Kiryu, why can't I Why have you been running like this in the other other times? Seriously, I'd love to be able to run this quickly through the city. Maybe I learned it after this. That'd be awesome. God, I hope so. Is that a roadblock? You sure can run. But so can I now, apparently. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come here. What would you get? Oh, sir, you cornered him. Yep, only took running half a marathon to do it. Wow, sir, that's incredible. He's still scared, though. We need to give him a treat. Grr, bark, bark. <laughs> Uncle Kyle, Uncle Kyle, can we keep him? What do you mean, keep him? Things terrified of you guys. Can you see? Can't see why you'd want him anyway. Well, I do want him because, because. What is it to do with me? Because it looks like mommy. Mommy? Mommy? That's the dog my mommy and daddy got for me when I was born. Uh, used to be Chan. They look, might look the same, but this dog here is not your mommy. I know, he's not. I had to get mommy away when mommy and daddy died. He's to me. But this doggy showed up near our house. I thought for a sec that mommy came to see me. Here's me, John. So can we keep him on Kakaz, please? Okay, but only you train him to not be so crazy. And I, I mean, how are we going to get him there? He wants to kill us. Deal. Come on, Yuzumi John. Dog's never going to be normal. Look. Uh, look. Grr, bark, 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 bark. But. It's okay. He's me. Everyone's afraid of new things, dogs and people alike. But if you show him you're scared, he'll be scared too. So you just have to put on a brave face, understand? Mm-hmm. And chase him all over the city. Well, how are you going to tame him, Mr. John? Cookies! I'm just going to keep trying until he's used to me. Trying? What? Uncle Cos, what do dogs like to eat? Oh, that's an easy one. Dog food, obviously. Hamburgers, believe it or not. Maybe milk. Definitely bones. Uh, dog food, obviously. Well, dog. Okay. Don't go cause, but um, can, he, can he go buy some? Why do I have to go? I have to... Can I... So I can stay with the puppy. I think he likes me. Please, Uncle Kaz. 
All right, I'll be back in a minute. Keep it on easy to me for me, Mickey. Out. All right, yes, sir. Can I run now? Fuck! Damn it! I thought that unlocked the ability for me to sprint. What the fuck, Kiri? I was like, God damn it! Please let that be like the moment that I need to unlock the ability to run. Nope. Oh, why, Kiri? Why can't you just sprint that fast? Normally, when running around the city. Ah, all right. I know there's. I know they have dog food in the uh, the marts here. Yep, there it is. Do they have like bones or anything else, or <laughs> I know what he likes. He likes boss coffee. Dogs love the brand. This brand of dog food. Carefully, you don't get mobbed by dogs when opening the bag. Give us a bitch. Give us a bitch. I love. Give us a bitch. There's a dude right there. Who wants to beat my ass. Just hang over here. All right. Got. I've got dog food. He'll be our best friend now. Here you go, easy me. Dog yeah. food. Yeah, he thinks so, Lucas. I hope he eats it. He's not eating it. Huh? We thought he'd like that. Is he still afraid of us? Or maybe he's just not hungry. Because do you know what kind of toys dogs like? Toys, huh? Mm. A ball would be good. Cat toys, believe it or not. Maybe a stuffed animal. Definitely boats. <laughs> boats again. A ball would be good. A ball would be good. Something to play fetch with, you know? It's kind of boring, but okay. Can you get one? <laughs> boring. Me again. Can't go. I think you started to get used to me. Please don't cause. God damn it. Which I think I got a ball before. I found a ball. I've seen Koji practicing baseball with one. I just swear I had one in a... Uh... Oh, God damn it. I have to run all the way back home again. I thought I had uh, one... Like, I found a ball, like, before. And I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Unless that was also material. And, like, did I actually put it away or did I sell it? <laughs> Mystery items. These are... Okay, these are the cheat items, basically. <gasps> Squishy ball! How about that? Or does it have to be specifically a baseball? Oh, cuz! God damn it. I guess that doesn't count. Damn it. Goji, use a rubber ball for baseball practice, right? Yep. What do you ask? Might have a bar for a bit. Well, you gonna play some baseball, Lucas? Uh, not exactly. Well, all right. Just remember to give it back. I will. You buy me a new one if you lose it. Deal. Though I'm not sure you will want this one back. Huh? Well, whatever. Here. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Say no trouble. I'm gone. Is this literally the same? Oh. It pretty much is. Isn't the other one a rubber ball, too? This is a key item, though. Well, I guess the other one was a not key item. I thought it was also called a rubber ball, though. Or am I drunk? Squishy ball. Come on, close it up. Fuck you, game. That should have worked. All right. Ball. Got it to me. Yay. Thanks, old cuz. Look, doggy, a nice ball. Why does he want to play? Hmm, I could have sworn that would work. Aren't dogs supposed to like, like fetching balls? He's probably still spooked. What the hell? Maybe we should just, like, back away. He wants scratches. Mm, what else would a dog want? Money's easy to be child. Let's throw in the towel. How long are you going to keep at this? As long as it takes nothing until it comes home. Just want to figure something out, then. Why don't you take a stroll, sir? Clear your head, you know? Or let to be child out of my sight while you're gone. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll be back in a bit. What? I'm just going to walk around? Until something happens to trigger what I need to do. Like that, ah, it's a dude over there who wants to kill me. Can't worry about, oh, okay, cool. I said to go in a building and walk back out. Oh, this is going nowhere. Go love it in more glory, doggy. Everyone's really nice. Will you build him a doghouse, Uncle Biccio? Please? Uh, sure. <laughs> really? Did you hear that, Mommy? You can live in a brand new house. Mommy, you already named him? Hey, out of the way. Storage time share a property now. Scram, bitch. <laughs> Uh, quit your fucking yapping and come on, teach that mother lesson. <laughs> what, what the hell? <laughs> no! Well, well, your resident Lar Bucket came to visit, pay us a visit. How we show him some hospitality? <laughs> Take us fast! Uh, <laughs> Tony, what? It, it's me. It's me. One go to Nero. <laughs> the dog comes over and starts <laughs> mauling Mickey out. Take him and get out. Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Damn, he suck his teeth in there good. Oh my god, you tell me there's cops in the city? What the hell? Good dog. Dog's over with just a piece of that guy's leg. Mommy, mommy, mommy. <gasps> Mommy! 
good dog. Licking wound. Yatana. Mommy. The more. All we had to do was murder somebody. Mommy. Woof. Damn, there's always there's some kid and there's always some dog, right? No, these Yaxi games. It's just cool. It's like Kwame went all over again. Whatever happened to that dog anyway? Go grab some food and stuff for the dog. Meet you back at the orphanage. Sound good? We already got him food. I bought it with my own money. Yeah, remember to look both ways before you cross the road easy to me. <laughs> okay. You too, mommy. And they're gone. Guess I should head back too. I feel like we all learned something. I, I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to figure out. I'm going to figure it out on the way back home. All right. A few more. A balloon. Cool. A block of brass. Super resin. Hey, we got some new shit. Uh, Taco Tails. Do travel around Japan with a long cloth and two taco sticks. I don't think it's a appeal, but it's got a good idea for weapon mods. And a red jewel is full of top secret intel. Let's just say they're secrets of a very famous person. Heh. <laughs> okay. So I'll buy one of each of these weapons. So I have shit that I can potentially mod. Long and Nunchaku. <laughs> I can turn it into twin hangers. Which increases power is, decreases its durability. It's like, is that even worthwhile? Patented and hanger. Double slates. Oh, this is just better. And I actually have the materials for this. Uh, ancient steel and demon stone. Fuck yeah. Or the spike ty uh, taiko sticks, which are just worse. Platinum nail. Yeah, let's make some demon taiko sticks. Oh, I can even, I can actually upgrade the demon taiko sticks even further. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's just some, like, Skyrim-looking weapon. A strange aura emanates from these powerful sticks, which have unusual defensive capabilities. Uh, a volatile dragon, which I apparently have already. Blood brooch and a red dragon brooch. You can now use the Fini use finish blade dancing cat described in the red journal. Fish blade Musashi, what the hell? Cool. Is that heat action? Swat body, ar body armor, sick. Another broken clock, great. Make it a necklace to put around my neck and pretend I'm Flavor Flav. I'm actually realizing I should honestly just go buy all the stuff that I could possibly uh, get at some of these shops, like the Abisu Pan. Just buy all the things, uh, potential equipment, and just have it there so I can potentially, uh, so I can try maybe to uh, upgrade it at some point, you know? Even if it's not currently right now a very good thing, right? This makes you pop with the ladies. I'm betting this is for the Cabaret Club or something. Uh, it's, it's rumor to bring you good luck. Maybe get more money or something. Uh, am Amulet has minor protective qualities. As well as a few other weapons. Is this a weapon? <laughs> it's not worth much, but maybe I can use it for something. Maybe it's a material. I thought this was actually a weapon, too. I could, like, pour hot water on somebody. Okay. Bullet bulletproof glass. Ass quills. My vibe pinholder that straps onto your ass. It'll help you get up as soon as you get knocked down. Wow. Cool. I have ability for that, though. Bulletproof glass amulet. I guess this is better. I have no way of really knowing. But fuck it. Um, and the answer is not really. <laughs> Defense is one, guns five. That's pretty shit. Well, all right, guys. I think this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Managed to get quite a bit done today. I've, and I managed to catch myself a tuna, which is pretty cool. But yeah, clearly we're not leaving uh, Okinawa immediately like I thought I was. So we still got uh, a bit more to do here, like taking care of our new pal Fluffy. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. If you're not already, become a Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.